Hey guys, so today I'm going to review the Itesco lavalier mic. Um, so usually when I do these reviews, uh, I start with the cons first, that way you can end with the, the good stuff, the pros. So I'm just going to jump right into the cons. So the first thing that I noticed about this mic is that it is pretty sensitive and it does pick up a lot of white noise. So uh, I have to edit it basically so it sounds better. So I'm going to give you a clip of basically the raw, a raw audio file on you know, so you can see what it sounds like. So ready? One, two, three, go. So here's what the Itesco lavalier mic sounds like, raw, not edited. Uh, you can hear the white noise, and so it is clear, but there is the white noise, so I have to edit for that to make it sound nice and clear and crystal clear. So the next thing is that this mic is very basic. So like for me, it's perfect because normally I'm doing voiceover, so you don't usually see me. Um, and so it's a very basic mic. I think it works perfect for me. Uh, when I do my, like I said, my voiceovers for YouTube. Um, and I, this is what I would recommend it for, unless you're just starting out. I think it's a good mic to start out with um, because it is pretty clear and it's very basic. You can't edit sound or like adjust sound. It's just you plug it in, this is what you get. Another con is because it is so basic that it it's a USB plug-in, so you're stuck to the computer. You don't have any uh, like phone jack if you want to take it on the run with your iPhone or your, your droid or whatever um, and so that's another con yeah kind of a con not necessarily depending on which one you use it for so for me it's fine because I never record on my phone it's always from my computer so I'm good to go so for the pros like I've kind of mentioned already it is USB so you just literally all I did is I plugged it into my computer waited like five seconds and it was ready to go there's no battery to deal with so I know some of the other comparable mics at this price range so I got this thing for $20 on Amazon um, there's a couple more on Amazon that are in this price range one being the Boya BY-M1 and the other one being the Sony ECM-CS3 um, and so the, the Boya model has a battery in it which for me I totally don't like because you have to replace batteries so this thing all electricity off your computer so USB plug-and-play good to go and have to worry about batteries so that's a good pro for me like I said, because I just usually voice over. Uh, the cord is simple and long, so here it is, kind of hiding right now. It's about a five foot cord, so I have plenty of room to move around if I need to move around, if I'm voiceovering or whatever. Um, actually, when I compare it, I compare it to like my iPhone cord, and that thing is like two feet, and I have to like, if, if I were to use that to rec uh, record, then I'd be like stuck to my desk. So. It is nice to have a cord that's a little bit longer to get a little, little bit of flexibility. So backing up a little bit, uh, I got this thing for $15 on Amazon, not $20, um, but still comparable to the other two models. So overall, um, for the price, $15 for this mic, I do think it's a really good option. The sound is really clear. Um, it's a lot better than I was recording with my, my webcam. That thing sounds terrible. I've gotten plenty of comments about, about it sounding terrible, so that's why I got another mic. Um, and yeah, the, the sound quality is great. So you know, uh, if you're looking for a mic, definitely check this one out and you can use it to compare to the other mics you're looking at. So hope this review was helpful and happy shopping.